Hello, I'm Colleen Apple. My pronouns are she and her. When I accepted the position of board president, I brought a grievous assumption with me. I believed it was my job to support the current culture, invite more of the same people who currently sit in the sanctuary, modestly increase the pledge base, keep the building in good repair. After all, our building was still open and we had people in the seats every Sunday. Why challenge something that appeared to me to work? Staff members AJ, Emily, and Maria gave me a hint of what was to come. All three belong to UUA professional organizations that connect them with UU churches across the country. AJ and Emily, our religious education and music directors, have visited other churches in their professional capacity. They told me that once I was amongst people from other UU churches, I would open up to the vibrancy of new possibilities. My first immersion in a wider UU community took place in Lawrence, Kansas, where a group of volunteers from the Midwest gathered to train for the Our Whole Lives Lifespan Sexuality Program. The six-hour round trip gave me the opportunity to visit with two young people in our church. And then there was the training itself, where a lot of people who don't look like me are actively engaged in the work of the church. That was the first weekend of March, so the pandemic and the move to virtual church interrupted my consideration of what the church might look like if we were radically inclusive. Monica's recent challenge to our lay speaking policy, the subsequent call from a small group who analyzed our church culture against the culture of white supremacy, and my attendance at the UUA General Assembly have again challenged my assumptions. Thank you for allowing me to be a delegate to GA. What I came away with was the value of UUA as a safe container for the work we are called to do here at First UU. If you're my friend on Facebook, you may have seen me recently evolve from one who safely posts about food and decorating to one who is sharing pieces about anti-racism and white supremacist culture. UUA gives me material to share and the language to address a family member who recently posted a racist meme. The adoption at General Assembly of the action of immediate witness regarding alternatives to policing allowed me to understand and support Emily's action when she chose last Monday evening to conduct her own wellness check on a neighbor rather than invite the police into a neighborhood of black and brown people. Conference speaker Howard Bryant boldly challenged racial injustice, so when Bob encouraged us to watch uncomfortable conversations with a black man after I had just attended GA, I made sure I watched and shared it as well. <clears throat> Another example of the support offered by the UUA is the policy the first UU Pandemic Task Force wrote this week regarding meeting in small groups. It is a far more stringent policy than that currently offered by the Greene County Health Department. The task force used the UUA guidelines, the collective wisdom of a national community, to write our own document. In addition, the third responsive resolution we adopted at GA urges us to expand the concern we have for our community during the pandemic to become advocates for universal health care. I mark the success of a conference I attend by the number of books I buy or can find at the library. This was a five book conference with another two on hold. As a result of attending a workshop about decentralizing the church power structure, the first book I'm tackling is Thrive, the Facilitator's Guide to Radically Inclusive Meetings. So how does my attendance at General Assembly square with the work we've been doing recently at First UU? 
The workshops I attended pushed me to challenge assumptions. I've developed a new why not attitude. Why not paint the lectern purple? Why not invite new members to leadership positions? Why not consider the ways people with young families and full-time jobs can have a greater voice? Why not be the radically inclusive church we say we are? It's either why not or it's why didn't we? Let us be the why not church.